break. Yeah, mama's ready to break down into tears at this point because I feel like there is just no escaping it. Okay y'all, so our makeup Christmas was all right. It wasn't what I was expecting it to be, especially with Rain and his gifts. He just was like, uh, okay, y'all got this stuff. I don't really know what that means, but he did really love his little jingle balls of his music set. He's warming up to the keys now and he really loves his slippers. Literally after we were done with that, Walker had said he hadn't been feeling good that day. Had a headache. The next day he was like, I feel even worse. I got a sore throat. My mom had went ahead and did a COVID test on him and that came back negative. But the next day, his symptoms were even worse. So he stayed in his room and this morning, Jeremy went and took both the kids to get tested. So Walker's test came back positive. So he has COVID waiting on Mia's test. In the meantime, I'm about to get dressed because I'm gonna then drive because we weren't gonna all be in the car with him, especially because we suspected that he would come up positive. But now I need to go get myself tested as long as I'm negative because we've had them for, what is it? One, two, three, four, five. This will be day five that we've had them at this point and we've all been in close contact with each other. So I'm going to basically pack a bag for me and Rain. I'm gonna go up and get tested. And then if my test results come back negative, which I'm praying to God that they do, me and Rain are just gonna stay over my parents and we have to figure out what we're doing as far as Walker is concerned. I think he's just going to stay because the kids were supposed to go back tomorrow. Obviously like that, that can't necessarily happen because they were one supposed to fly and he's like well alternatively I could drive them but now if especially if one of the kids is positive and the other one is negative we're just gonna have to see how all of this is really going to shake out it definitely will be flights canceled otherwise the kids will probably be here but just be pretty much confined to their rooms for the next two weeks. So of course I don't want rain picking any of it up. So I think that it's best that we just leave now. If my test wind up coming back positive, I'm just gonna come back home. Cause at that point there's really no point, but it's definitely stressful. Like y'all seen how stressed out I was in the last vlog because I had just got finished with taking care of Jeremy who had COVID for that stretch of time and pretty much did that by myself. And now it's like, great, I've had about a week break and now now COVID is reintroduced into my household once again. So I literally just want to put myself and Rena in a glass box and scream, but nothing I can do about it at this point it is very frustrating because once Jeremy got COVID, I did not want the kids, the older two to come up for this exact reason, not because I figured he would give it to them, but I was concerned that someone else, just because it's running so rampant right now, would give it to them. They were actually at their aunt and uncle's house with their grandmother who traveled on a plane they were driven up by my sister-in-law so my sister-in-law her boyfriend his daughter and the kids were in the car together they drove up so they didn't fly so they didn't come into contact with anyone else however my mother-in-law flew in and stayed with Jeremy's aunt and I don't know what the status of my mother-in-law is now but obviously Walker tested positive Jeremy's aunt tested positive I don't know about Jeremy's mom and I don't know about his sister and her boyfriend and his his child either. So it was like everyone is sick who was in that household with the exception of I think one or two people. So it's just it's it's freaking insane is what it is. I'm gonna get off here and start rambling and start to get my stuff together because I have quite a bit to pack for Rain and I and once I get him and I together and go to get tested I will see you guys when I get there. <laughs> So I'm back and I am negative again, thank goodness. It's the next day and cause I just went to my parents' house and had to get the car unloaded and all that jazz. But today I woke up, had like almost um, a headache that turned into like a mini migraine to the point where I literally got up fed rain breakfast and handed him off to my dad. My dad's not feeling the greatest. He's actually laying down right now. 
Rain is taking an extended nap because he went down a little bit later, but I'm just letting him sleep at this point because I really don't want him getting sick. I don't care if we're off schedule. I don't need him getting sick. Don't want him getting sick. I want to make sure he's getting as much rest as he possibly can. I tried to make sure I got a lot of rest today because I think that's why I keep getting sick even though it's not COVID. I keep feeling horrible because I'm not getting the type of rest that I actually need and I'm not fully recovering. Like I still have that cough. Two to three weeks ago at this point, still have the cough. Still generally feeling pretty down and crappy, but once again, still COVID negative. So that's great. So basically I'm just going to be staying here for a week. At the end of the week, Jeremy is going to take the oldest two back down south. He's going to drive them. So their flights have been canceled, but he's going to drive them back down south and they're going to do school virtually, or at least Mia is going to do school virtually this week. Walker is basically quarantined to his room, so he's not coming out, but I honestly felt like it would be best to just bring rain here to my parents that way, even if she develops symptoms because she's not isolated and she had the same level of exposure as he did. If she starts developing symptoms, she's the one who is a lot more interactive with rain so like they actually sit on the floor and play together and high fives and like all that stuff so I figured even if she begins to develop symptoms in the next couple of days us being over here would just reduce any points of contact that we had so I got tested yesterday I'm gonna go back in a couple of days and get retested since I'll be here anyway but just to be like extra sure kind of sucks just because like I keep getting in a weird way either isolated within my own home to where I can't see anyone or I'm getting uprooted from my home completely and I thought this year was gonna be different like we in 2022 at this point and here it is that this virus is just running rampant rampant and it is ruining any type of potential family time because once again I'm separate from Jeremy I have to be separate from the kids aside from rain and overall it just sucks and it's a good thing because we had planned on going to Six Flags on New Year's Eve and it's a very good thing that it was kind of wet outside and we decided not to because even though we are maskers and wear a mask everywhere. I couldn't imagine like finding out after the fact that Walker had COVID and just thinking about all the things he like touched and everything. So it worked out well that like we pretty much stayed home. I'm really over this crap. I am, I'm so over it. I think the stress is also causing me to stay sick because I'm so stressed out about not getting sick because I was talking to my sister and I was like they will probably be quite all right obviously Jeremy didn't have to be hospitalized but like I have asthma like I would be the one to get it and to really fall hard with it so the stress I think is starting to kind of get to me to some extent too which is why I'm not necessarily getting better per se from I guess this common cold or whatever you would call getting sick from general anxiety and an overabundance of stress. But yeah, in any event, I will be vlogging while I'm here and I guess you guys will see what my life is like spending a week at my parents' house. Well, I just got off the phone with my mom and my dad just tested positive for COVID. I feel like I really can't win at this point. I just got here yesterday. I feel like I'm, I'm like just ready to break. Yeah, mama's ready to break down into tears at this point because I feel like there's just no escaping it. And now I'm like, do I go back home? Do I stay here? At this point, I'm almost ready to go back to my house. It's hard, at least I know that like my dad will stay contained till there's an extra room upstairs of the bathroom and stuff that I know he'll stay confined to. It's like a similar situation. And now I am stressed the F out and I need to figure out what I am doing. Aside from at this point, I've been wiping everything down with Clorox wipes, but I am stressed the max. And part of me is really considering just going and getting a hotel and staying in a hotel with rain for the week. Like my options as far as where I can go now have officially run out aside from staying at a hotel. Y'all done? And the two of them were together today. My dad had a mask on the whole time because he knew that he wasn't feeling kind of off. So he wore a mask the whole time. So it's like, there's nothing I can really do now. It's no, it's no even figuring out what's best at this point. I'm like stuck between a poopy situation and a poopy situation. So yeah. 
yeah 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 i am i'm mentally and emotionally like done right now so i will check back in with you guys once i figure out what i'm doing hi good morning <laughs> yeah. So it's the next morning. Yesterday was pretty uneventful. Literally me just running errands to get back to the house. He was super like fussy at certain points. I was completely drained. Can you not throw that on the floor? That was not cute or not nice. Can you put it back, please? Can you put that back, please? Can you put it back, please? Put it back. Go put it back. Go put it back. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Good listening. Thank you. Good job. Yay. Can you put that back too? You wanna do it? Look, your sock is on the floor. Can you pick up your sock? You know, we're only halfway listening today. Okay, take what I can get. Pick the one thing up. Anyways, today I am just going to be hanging out here with him. We're going to be playing. I brought a couple of his toys over and then I'll be going to the clinic to get another test done. So the other day I went and got tested and was negative. That was from my exposure from Walker. Today I'm going to get tested again for the exposure from my yeah from the exposure from my dad yeah you want to you want to say hi good can we can we say hi can we use our voice good job can you say hi what else did you learn he got a new word yesterday can you say socks good job socks where are your socks can you show me huh? can you show me where your socks are where are your socks Bring your socks. Can you bring me your socks? Good job. Can I have it? Good job. Can you get the other sock? Where's the other sock? Good job. Thank you. Good job, bunny. But yeah, our day just got semi started. So I'm gonna plan on trying to enjoy the rest of this. I'm also gonna try to get some editing done, um, get back to your comments, plan out some content for when I actually do go back home because I'm just not gonna get certain things done here. And I also have new diapers to show you guys too. Yeah, your food's outside the door. Some people have to say You're welcome. How they want you to take the next ten steps of your day. Some people want to tell you what they want you to do. But I'm going to live my life. Why don't you just live your life?
have to be this way I don't have to wash away the pain with Lick of courage, lick, lick of courage I lick the scourge, I lick, lick the scourge Now I'm starting to think It doesn't have to be this way I don't have to wash the way the pain with Lick of courage, lick, lick of courage I lick the scourge, lick, lick the scourge I'm in the clear, I'm in the clear, I'm in the clear I'm in the clear so update for you guys, you saw that I came out negative. However, my mom did not, so both of my parents have COVID, unfortunately. At that point, I was just like, okay, it makes the most sense for me to come home. So I was like, best case scenario, I stay negative, but I need to go ahead and come home because rain clearly feels fine. I, besides feeling the general exhaustion and that slight cold I have hasn't not fully gone away yet, but considering we're negative, I'm like, it's best for me to come home. That way, even if I am to come down with it, someone is available to take care of him without the need for like masks and gloves and everything else that he is not really accustomed to when it comes to just being at home in general and that way he can just be in his own space as well i feel like he could definitely feel that i was like stressed out i'm trying to keep things somewhat normal for him but like i said in any event if i am to wind up getting sick jeremy would essentially be next in line to provide him with everything that he needs and take care of all his needs so that's kind of where we're at at this point just overall a shit situation i know some people were asking my last video i don't even have antibodies for it so i've never had it because i've had a rapid test done and i've had an antibodies test done so as it stands right now i've always come back with a negative test result and the same as far as checking for any antibody so even though i've had multiple exposures to it at this point I have not and hopefully won't get it. I feel like this has been ongoing for almost like we're coming up on a month at this point and I am so sick of it and I am so over it. It is just no words that could actually describe how frustrated I am, how stressed out I am. And yeah, I'm just at a point where I'm trying not to stress over things that I cannot control, but rain is always gonna be my ultimate and number one concern. And I just really don't want my baby to get sick. At the end of the day, I don't know how it's gonna affect him if he does later on or down the road especially him being so young good thing is though that jeremy hasn't picked it back up because his results were negative mia hasn't picked it back up she feels fine um as far as i know walker is starting to feel a little bit better but yeah i just feel like we have been in or well, i not we but i have been in freaking COVID hell for the past month and i'm truly i'm truly just over it but anyway we're gonna go ahead and move on i'm trying to focus on some some good things I got some fluff mail so I have some brand new diapers to show you guys I'm gonna go get them right now and I'll be right back so mama koala reached out to me and wanted to send me some diapers to try out of course I jumped on it because I am in the market still trying out different diapers I'm expanding my horizons but my shipment of diapers got I guess stopped or flagged or whatever you want to call it through customs and they never got released so they reached out to little bunny tails and made sure that I got the diaper so here these are so here's the ones I got. Got this one, this one, marble, this one, which is very much like galaxy-ish, this one, which I believe is magnolias, but super pretty. This one that says little boss on it, it's just plain in the front. And lastly, this one, which is a little lion family packs of inserts with them as well. So I'm gonna be trying those diapers out and giving my thoughts and doing like a mini review on them as well later on. Super excited though to try out different diaper brands and whatnot. But like I said, I just wanted to show you guys that real quick. I am going to try to get back on track as far as my filming is concerned, as far as doing sit down videos is concerned. I am going to do my best this month to get back on track with that. I have have so much content that's just planned out for you guys but due to all of this chaos and craziness I just haven't been able to sit down and actually execute it unfortunately but I'm hoping that you know within the next two weeks or so things just completely settle down so that I can just 
get back to what I'm passionate about. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. I feel like it has been long enough, but I try to encapsulate the whole week into one video for you guys. So that's what's been going on with me and my family. And I really hope that all of you out there are staying safe. So many of you told me that you and your families have been affected by COVID. This past month essentially so i'm just hoping that all of you guys are staying safe and all of you are making speedy recoveries so i hope you guys are all having a wonderful week i'm sending baby dust to all of you mamas in waiting who are ttcing i'm sending positive vibes to everyone i know it is a very difficult time across the board but i really hope things start looking up for us all and hopefully i will catch you in the next video bye